Hey YouTube, Omar here, and this is gonna be my my last video for the night, and it's gonna be my AL West 50 games down review, and also uh, first we'll go to the Mets game here. Uh, looks like the game's gonna be at, called. Uh, we're in the bottom of the eighth, I believe. It's the middle of the eighth, actually, middle of the eighth inning, about to start the bottom of the eighth, and the Mets are up six three. Scott Harrison hit a home run, two run jack. Uh, pinch hit job, and what else? Oh, Jeremy Hefner worked out of a jam where he had 100 pence on third and nobody out, and did not let him score to keep it four to three. And or we're in the lead. We were in the lead, but yeah. Anyway, the Mets look like they don't look like they're gonna resume baseball here in New York. Uh, the forecast. Uh, the broadcaster said that the forecast says. There will be rain until 2 a.m. My forecast says 1 a.m. Either way, the game would be called by then. So, whatever. Looks like the Mets have won. But let's go with our AL West 50 down, 50 games down review. And obviously, starting off with the Texas Rangers. What can you say about this team? First, when I'm looking here at the standings, they well obviously the 31 and 18. It's the best record in the American League. They have a plus 99. They have a n plus 99 run differential. Um, they've they're seven and three in their last ten. Uh, just a great team. They're, I think they're gonna have. The, as I said, I think they might probably win the World Series. At I, they're my preseason pick to win the World Series because. I mean, the last two, I mean, you might say, oh, no, maybe they weren't because I didn't put up my uh, picks this year uh, for my preseason. So, basically, my preseason picks were uh, the AL East, I thought the Red Sox would win. No. The AL East, I thought the Rays would win. The AL Central, I thought the Red, the uh, the Tigers. AL West, I predicted the um the these Texas Rangers and the NL East I predicted the Braves and the NL Central I predicted the um who did I predict that? oh the NL Central I predicted the St Louis Cardinals and no I pre I predicted the Reds and in the NL West I believe I predicted Arizona so anyway Texas Rangers what can you say about this team well, let's just let's just look at, at what they had. They have Josh Hamilton who has 20 homers, 53 RBIs. That's unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, here's some batting statistics: runs first in the league, batting average first in the league, on base percentage second in the league, slugging percentage first in the league. Let's look at some pitching: ERA fourth, quality starts 13th, but WHIP is second and batting average is third. I mean, this team is killing it. I really think they're the best team in baseball. I think they're better than the Dodgers. I mean, stats say it would be the Dodgers and, and the Rangers right now in the, in the World Series. I don't see that happening, but I do see the Rangers winning the World Series. That was my preseason pick. I had the Rangers over the Dodgers. Well, not the Rangers over the Dodgers. I had the Rangers. Who did I have the Rangers over? I think I had the Rangers over the Reds, who I had as a wild card team in the in the World Series. I just really forget, but yeah, whatever, it doesn't really matter. I still think the Rangers are going to win the World Series. Uh, it says here, uh, according to and the source, pitcher Royal as well is leaning towards signing with the Rangers. I mean, you might ask why I picked them. It's pretty easy. If you saw a door move back there, my mom's door, just because the cat went in, no big deal. But, uh,. Last last two seasons they made the World Series and lost, which is obviously very disappointing. But how can you see a team that has not basically lost anything? They added you Darvish, <coughs> got rid of C.J. Wilson, which I thought was perfectly fine, and now it says Roy Oswald is likely to sign with them. He could be a key pitcher down the stretch. This team is just great. What can I say? <laughs> um, second team in the AL East right now. Is the 25 and 25 LA Angels? Of course, they're supposed to be a much better team. People thought them, a lot of people thought they were going to beat out beat out the Texas Rangers in this division. I didn't, but uh, 
yeah, I mean, they've really come back down to earth in terms of, like, what is this team going to do this year? And I told, I tried to tell people, I tried to tell my friends and all this, when everybody, you know, we always, me and my friends always talking about baseball, and they'd always be saying, uh, oh, man, the Angels are stacked this year. They're going to they're gonna crush people. I'm like, just calm down. They're not really that stacked. They added Pools, obviously, great hitter. He's finally coming out of it. They have some young players, yeah. But, I mean, they're just, it's a, it's a tough it's a tough job to just go from, you know, they weren't that good last year to just automatically a team that's going to beat out the Texas Rangers, uh, two-time world, two-time reigning AL champions in the AL West. I just didn't see it happening. They're 25 and 25, so they're trying to, they're starting to get better, but I don't see them closing the six and a half get six and a half game gap between them and the Rangers really at all this whole entire season. In fact, I I expect that to widen that gap and I'd say the Texas Rangers take this this uh, division by 10 12 games over everybody else next uh, third is the o Oakland Athletics they're 22 and 27 just got swept by the Yankees uh, not so good I mean what can I say that they've got to be the least like least talked about baseball team in the world like no one talks about the Oakland Athletics no one even goes to the games like the stadiums I see they, but I will tell you that I do know that that uh, what's his name Reddick I don't know his first name he's having a great year it says 14 he's batting 276 14 homers 27 RBIs that's leads the team in everything I mean leads the team in a ton but I mean their batting average is last in the league at 211 slugging percentage last I mean 28th in runs, 29th in on-base percentage. This team, I mean, I think they should be sellers, maybe sell Redick. Um, but, yeah, just not enough. Uh, obviously, they need some more pieces if they're ever going to compete. Uh, at least not, I shouldn't say ever, but if they're going to compete in the in the uh, short term, you should say, in the upcoming years with the Texas Rangers and the LA Angels, who are two teams that are good now and are built to be good. In the future, and last, the Seattle Mariners, 21 and 30, 11 games out. They're gonna finish last in this division. Uh, they might, might finish uh, out, maybe, maybe third. They're not gonna finish above third. This team is just, unfortunately, because I'm a sort of kind of pull for the Mariners when I can because my family's from there and they like them. But it's just, it's just not enough. I mean. Obviously, they got some nice young pieces. Felix Hernandez, Justin Smoke, Kyle Seager, Dustin Ackley. But, you know, Felix Hernandez, there's no way if I'm him, I'm pitching the first moment, first chance I get to depart. I'm departing. I wouldn't play there. Uh, just I'm not the market you want to play in. They have some pretty good hitting this. I mean, some pretty good pitching this year. But the hitting, again, every every category here runs by an average on base percentage and slugging percentage all 25th or higher in the league which are of only 30 teams so just not a not a team that's going to be able to compete this year and you no know, don't expect much if you're a mariner fan anyway that's my video on the al west uh pretty long video actually and hopefully the game gets called because of rain or maybe it gets added and, and maybe maybe it gets continued and the mets pull pull out the win anyway which is highly likely anyway uh, good three videos in tonight, and I hope to have maybe one or two videos for the NL tomorrow, NL East, NL Central. I'll try to get up NL West. I'll see what I can do. And uh, that's my video. See you guys later.